Welcome to LJP Tech Channel. Please subscribe, like, and comment. Make sure you press the bell button as well. Now, I present to you our host, LJP Tech. So what we have here is Inmo Air that I actually received this week by participating on a crowdfunding campaign. So this is gonna be probably the third or the fourth smart glasses that I'm gonna feature on my channel. For example, this is solo smart glasses that I love to wear every time that has a blue light protection lens on it while it has a speaker. Now, this is the great Great music smart glasses. It has a projection on the right hand side and you can see what's happening on the right hand side lenses. You can use this for industrial use or professional use. But what I find a bit lacking on this smart glasses is mirror imaging from what is shown on your smartphone. While I believe this Inmo Air has heavily focus on this feature and um, it also has the navigation system which i'm really looking forward to use but i find the inmo air from the preview from what is available on the website is a bit bulky so we're going to find that out and compare it for a uh, size of my big head and so on so this one actually has the ram and rom of two gigabytes plus the 32 gigabyte rom and it's from a company called inmo lens technology co limited from China. So enough said, let's get into the unboxing. So here it goes. Moment of truth. Nice, look at that. We've got one, two, three in more air instructions. So I'll just quickly flick that through. Um, so please do have a quick look. All right, so this is the actual case, is it? And if you fold it this way, that's where the smart glasses actually, AR glasses comes out. But before we get into that, let's look at one, two, three, what we have here. We got a rather nice um, cloth for number two, actual uh, cable, okay, power cable. This is USB-C as you can see. And for number three, oh, that's in, this is interesting spare um, frame for the lens, a clip on the back, I presume, tinted lenses for replacing uh, for what you have for existing. This is how it looks. Yes, already I could feel the bulkiness of it. So what you can see is those two tiny pieces we talk about, which is the replacement of the nose clip here. And on the right hand side top, we got the screen that is projected by a projector here, similar to the Vuzik smart glasses. And on the back side of it, we got the USB-C plug that you need to charge through this way. And if we were to rotate it around, we can see the Immo uh, logo and rather transparent frame around it. And at the front, we got the camera, um, lenses which looks rather tiny actually to be honest with you but overall it looks quite chunky doesn't it so if we were to compare it against the Vuzik smart glasses that we have here yes you can see that the I actually much prefer uh, Vuzik smart glasses because it is more professionally a much better quality of a plastic made while as this one feels kind of rather light a more like a prototype, um, no offense to be honest with you, but this is actually more than half of the price of Vuzik smart glasses. And um, if we were to compare it into the front, um, that's how, how much of a difference you can see of the sizes, of its chunkiness and design. So you can see a good, well, if we were to compare this camera size as well, you know, the difference of the quality, you can see it immediately as well. So that's just the overall view comparing uh, the music smart glasses. Also to bear in mind, we got speakers on both ends here and also the power button. I'm not sure what this circular button is, but we're gonna find out anyway. And I presume you could adjust the volume by swiping um, up and down or sideways, similar to music. So the moment truth, let's try it out, shall we? So here it goes. So, um. That's not bad to be honest with you because it's actually adequate size for a big head like myself. But one thing I do notice is that if I actually turn left and right, it kind of feels like the lens is actually angled sort of this way for some reason. Um, I don't know whether you can see that, but um, it could be a really nice smart glass. It's kind of reasonably discreet because overall size of my head. Um, so that's good to start with, but um, Okay, I actually noticed a bit of a sound of movement on the, all right, so this is the right-hand side, the cover lens on the back 
is not really well sealed so you can see there's a bit of a clumsiness of the craft craftsmanship there but um, overall I mean it, it, it does feel uh, very um, cheap but we'll see how it works on the actual software side ah so I can see the Inmo logo popping in powered by Android the app's already been installed by the QR code that is provided on the manual ah, a bit of a bling and the Inmo logo popping out live another life powered by Android nice right so we got the album camera and then mirror I presume mirror is for like um, mirror imaging was shown on your mobile phone and then we got the documentation notification oh that's very interesting we got app store so you could separately go for the app store as well downloading uh, apps related to this device and settings as well let's go for settings so first if we go for the settings um, we have to set up the uh, Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi and the sound as well. So that's very interesting. All right, so Inmo Air is now connected to Wi-Fi and also the Bluetooth connection. So now I can see from the main screen of the Inmo Air app, you can actually adjust the brightness of the screen, sound, and then you got the phone mirror and video mirror, laboratory, phone notification, and photo transfer as well. So you can see that comparing to Vuzix, this is heavily focusing on the phone mirroring function, as I mentioned early on from the intro from this video. All right, so now we're mirror imaging what's shown on the phone. It's really tiny because we've got a very wide uh, landscape mode. But if I were to actually flip my Z4 III, uh, that's much better actually, because this display is like a same sort of almost same proportion comparing to the normal smartphones we get uh, so I think this will be the most ideal way to view everything um, that's very very interesting so if we were to try YouTube for example let's go to my channel and um, let's see if there's any videos that I could actually try out okay so robot creative so i really hope you enjoy my previous video with regards to the assembly side and the first impression of okay so let's reduce the sound that's not bad actually but uh, so it's about almost a second delay of the video but much better performance comparing to the Vuzix. as you will notice Vuzix, you have to go through their own um, smart glasses app to be able to watch uh, something or use a special app within themselves to mirror image it but this one is very convenient so you can watch video um, but there is a second delay that's very interesting yeah, there's the album so you can actually upload um, the photos or video clip that's what the album is about camera let's try out the camera quality shall we so um, okay so I'm going to record a video based on uh, the way how I'm actually looking down on my smartphone okay so that's how it is let's zoom right in shall we to see oh, okay so there's a bit of an automated color changing as well so that's quite impressive actually so it's a decent camera quality is it okay so you can see that the bar is going up uh, to show you that there's a limit on how much you could record okay okay so let's take some photo here it goes Another one. So zoom right in and take another one. So that's how it is. So that's quite cool. You can use it as a survey too as well. Right, so I initially expected there will be a navigation app for Inmo Air separately, but quite rightly, they don't have it. But all you need to do is open up the Google Maps. So what I'm seeing on the screen is amazing. This is one of the most important thing that I was expecting from this device where if I actually were to flip it like a landscape I can see uh, the whole map of Google map in a full screen and this is very well detailed actually so if I were to move around um, there's hardly any uh, delay so that's very impressive indeed and also yeah that's um, this is something that I'm gonna 
actually use it very useful so this not only is going to be used as a sunglasses but also a navigation system that i eagerly wanted on a smart glasses that i could either use while i'm driving or whether i'm in the middle of a city trying to find a way so that's really really good fantastic news. So if we were to make a direct comparison between uh, Vuzic Blade and Inmo Air is that the Vuzic Blade has a much better uh, quality and design. Uh, no doubt you when you actually hold this you feel like yeah this is a very expensive smart glass while as if you actually hold up the Inmo Air the plastic is very cheap feeling and light as well chunkier as well but if you have a bigger face uh, head like me it's actually a good news because it actually feel much uh, suited to your size of your head if you see what I mean but both of them actually runs in the same concept so you got the projector running on the right hand side that projects on the lens and on the left hand side you got the camera so you can actually record videos or take photos and so on now this is the uh, huge difference here if you want to use music blade um, like industrial purpose or professional use that's what it is for but Inmo Air is heavily focusing on mirror imaging of what's shown on your smartphone which I find it very useful indeed mainly as I highlight early on about mainly two features which is watching YouTube videos and also navigating uh, through um, using Google Map and so on those are the very important feature I really need I'm sure many of you out there will also need that function as well so you can watch YouTube video while you're navigating uh, through central London or New York and so on so I have to say if you want it more domestically uh, used for I for those two main features definitely Inmoware will perform much better unfortunately music uh, the way how it's designed because it's for industrial uh, I, I sense that the uh, watching YouTube there's a huge delay because you have to actually use their own um, app to be able to watch YouTube and for the navigation and so on you have to actually use a separate app to be able to mirror image what's shown on your smartphone to be able to uh, go for the navigation but this is basically on my own personal interest but I hope this video overall showed the um, overall scheme of comparison and if you're not sure about what I've shown uh, mainly about music blade please do check out on my previous video regards to this but um, both of them have a decent quality decent use but it depends on what you want to use it for uh, just like smartphone or mobile phone what do you need it for is it mainly for gaming is it mainly for performance flagship and so on uh, that's what the choice you have to make but in more air is really really focused well on the mobile phone green images and so on so that's really really well done for that so i hope this video gave you a good um, answer and feel about what these uh, smart glasses are but if you have any queries uh, please do comment below and I'll be more than happy to come back to you so thank you very much for watching this video this is LJP Tech all the best bye bye